And now the catcher comes up to him. Ryan Gold. And a strike in there. Strike two. Righty delivers. One ball, two strikes. Foul ball still a one and two count. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now the first baseman, Theo Spell Arias. Hits softly on the ground to third, and he grabs it foul. The 0 1. And a swing and a miss. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Now, number 17. Next pitch has popped up. And that'll do it. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. And your final score here today, John Chambi, thanks for tuning in, and we've got a good one going here in extra innings. And now the DH, number 19. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. That pitch in for a strike. 0 and 1. And it's 0 and 1. That to right. Gary under this one drops into the glove runner tagging for third applies the tag and they get two double play so they're down to their final out Ryan Gold digs in now there's a strike next offering is in for a strike well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options. Swing and a miss, and that's the ball game. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. A one-run extra inning win. Ron, before we took a break, you were talking about the importance of pitch sequencing for pitchers. How does that work? Why is it so critical? Well, in today's game, there is so much that the opposition knows about a certain pitcher, what pitches he throws, the percentage of times that he throws it. So what you do with pitch sequencing is that as a pitcher, you're trying to upset 